Hi everyone, this is Devin Coombs, and today I will be discussing Problem 8 and Problem 9 of CSUN's Financial Accounting Gateway Practice Exams. That's a mouthful. So, Problem 8 and Problem 9 talk about ratios involving liquidity, solvency, and profit margins and profitability. So, we're just going to group them together. Um, so let's start reading the problem. Problem 8. A measure of profitability is the A, current ratio, B, debt to total assets ratio, C, return on assets ratio, D, working capital, or E, none of the above. So ratios and liquidity measures and solvency measures and profitability measures are so important that you have to learn them. They're going to be used throughout your entire life and business, school at least. So just get to know them. Um, so we're going to cover all these ratios and what they mean. So the current ratio is current assets divided by current liabilities. So this is a liquidity ratio because it tells us how likely a company will be able to meet its short-term obligations. So, so those are obligations within its operating cycle or within the current year, uh, whichever is shorter. So obviously, if a company has more current assets than current liabilities, they're likely able to meet their obligations. If they have more liabilities, they might not be able to, which might mean that they will go bankrupt. So it's a very important ratio, but not profitability. So let's move to the next one. B, debt to total assets ratio. This is all liabilities over all assets. So this doesn't have to deal with the short term, but it's still dealing with debt. So this is a solvency ratio, which means how likely the company will be able to meet its long-term obligations to its investors and debtors. Um, obviously, if you have a significant amount of more liabilities than assets in the long run, it's going to make you li less likely to be solvent, which will make a company less desirable. And obviously, if liabilities are too large, that'll be very troublesome for investors. If assets are larger, it's a, it's a very good sign. So, but still not profitability, so let's move forward. C, return on assets ratio, which equals net income divided by total assets. See, this is... Uh, Definitely profitability. Definitely when you see return on anything, it's probably going to be talking about profitability. Um, and you generally, if you have a return on something, it'll be generally net income over whatever that is. So uh, this is our answer. It is a profitability ratio. Um, and memorize it. You're going to remember and use return on assets for the rest of your life, so might as well memorize it now. Last is our working capital equation which is just current assets minus current liabilities. The current gives away that it's liquidity, not solvency. Uh, this just tells us how much money we'll have left over after our current liabilities are met or if we will have money left over, uh, which is still a great measure, but nothing involving profitability of a company. A company can be profitable and still lose money because they have too much debt. Uh, so we are gonna disregard this and go with our answer of C, a return on assets ratio. Uh, problem nine has to do with working capital. Uh, we just discussed this, so working capital is a measure of liquidity. Uh, feel free to write me if you have any more questions with these two, and just make sure to memorize those ratios. And our next video will be on problem 10. Have a good one.